Yo, what's up guys, it's Solid007, and today I'm gonna show you some updated settings for MTO2 emulator on PC. I'm, I'm on the newest build, and these are the settings I'm gonna show you, now I'm gonna hop on with this one. CPU tab, these are my settings. Check them all. Sharply. GPU. Multithreaded Arax is ticket and Asun Rose Texture Streaming is ticket. And these are settings here. And here and here are the other settings. And from the debug back tab, this Apple C School Occlusion Queries is unticket. So let's hop on with these settings. Boot with custom configuration. Let's see. I always, when I test my FPS on this game, I use the Middle Maelstrom, aka MM map, with shadows enabled to see the FPS what I gain or anyway, which is which it is when I use the other settings or new emulator new build and everything like stuff like that okay now i'm on the game i choose mm map and i hop on the training now let's see the fps i just showed to you guys with these settings trigger happy told me to use test the fps always on this spot on this map here let's see FPS is right top. It's seen right there. Shadows enabled so it's not. So you can see the correct one. If it's locked to 50 FPS then you can see because it's always depending of your PC specs. Right. So here I get you see the FPS right top. Around 45, 46 FPS. Yes, 44 even, 47, same spot I'm gonna show you. Now we top it up to 49, but anyway, now let's change the settings and get on the same spot here. You remember the FPS I've got here, didn't it get even once, okay, once maybe up about 50 FPS. Now let's change the settings. Go to your task manager, details and your emulator, uh, one second, here put priority as real time, click change. Then, then we change the settings. Always change custom co configuration from MGO2 tab, not from here config. Put enable SPU loop detection. Take it. SPU block size giga. Preferred SPU thread auto operation system thread settler. GPU tab. No anti aliasing. Frame rate still 60. Anisotropic filter auto, relaxed, fastest, cheese cool accuracy, shader quality low. Oh yes, this is my new test emulator, so to know if these all settings, maybe you can test them later if you don't have this all yet, but it's gonna be up soon for everybody. Now, put resolution scale, maybe 2K instead of 4K, or maybe even 1080p, but I think 2K, 2K is fine. It's very sharp quality on the PC. Then, unclick these. multi threaded Arax and Asuntro's Texture Stream. Yes. Remember, these are also clicked. 
So you'll get some FPS chain. And here, and remember, try to wake up delays one. And here I notice which made me lose FPS and very bad, got a very bad audio stutter, audio went totally shit after I unticket disable SQL occlusion queries. Now that I click it and out of the setting I just showed you and put the task manager emulator priority to real time. Now apply, save, boot with custom configuration. Let's see now the FPS on the exact same spot on MM map. Alright, here we are again. Basic training, saw training, map, same map, Midtown Maelstrom. And here we go, let's see the FPS with the new better settings on the same spot. This, as you can soon see, seems to work at least on my PC. I put my PC specs on the description of this video. Right, let's see now the FPS in the same spot. See? Little FPS gain, it's more about well, 50, not 44 or 45, it's like few more FPS as you can see. So you can notice, check earlier, now I even hit 53 FPS most right now. So yeah, it's few FPS gain as you can see. But yes, it does depend on your PC specs. But yeah, here you can see the video. What FPS I gained earlier with the earlier settings, there is big difference, at least 5 FPS. Hope you enjoyed the video and hope it works for your, you and your PC. Thanks for watching guys. See ya.